Hey guys, so as promised, let's implement the code to move the right pedal. I hope you have give it a go and learn something from it. So let's start by copy all of this to check if the key is being pressed. This time is for the right pedal. Let's paste. Now, this time gotta keep in mind that this time uh, if a key is not being pressed we don't check the other pedal but this time we just exit this procedure altogether so we jump to a label called exit pedal movement and this label will be very simple we just execute the red command and exit the procedure Let's copy the code to check which key is being pressed to. This time is for the right battle. Right. And if the key, these keys are not being pressed, we jump to exit this procedure. Now let's let's change the keys. So this instead of W will be a no, O lowercase and capital. The same for the L keys. You can use anything again. Now let's see on the ASCII table. Six F for the lowercase O four F for the capital O six C for the lowercase L and finally four C for the capital. Okay. Let's copy these comments. Let's create now the labels to move the paddle. Move right paddle up and move right barrel down let's copy the other one and again update the variable so this is b barrel right we exit the procedure this is exactly the same just need to change to right exit the procedure now let's do the same for the move battle down let's copy this paste it right here now update the variables again
okay I guess it's fine now so let's minimize the code and let's test if this is working Hmm. Okay, so the left barrel continues to move, but our right barrel is static. So let's see where is the problem. Um, let's see. Hmm. If I were to guess, I guess this pass this piece of code is completely useless. Um, this right here, because we already detected the key, um, we just need to check which one was pressed. So let's remove this and see if it is because of this. We are detecting the key right here, so. I guess we don't need that. If is not any of the those keys we jump, check if is a right barrel key. So I guess we don't need to detect again if a key is being pressed. Let's see let's see if the the error was because of it. Let's test again. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Our right barrel is moving. So, I hope you've done better than me <laughs> on moving this barrel. Um, on the next video, we'll be refactoring our code a bit and going through it so we can prepare for the next videos where we will start to implement the collisions between the ball and the paddles and turning our code into a more complex one. So, I see you on the next one.